Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Sunday, February 21st. I know it's still technically Saturday, but uh, we ended up winning the play of the day pretty early. I figured I might as well get this video out nice and early. So just to recap what happened yesterday on Saturday, when it became a nice winner as we ended up giving out the over in the Eastern Kentucky and Southeast Missouri State game at over 147.5. And, and minus one weight on DraftKings. That one ended up climbing. I thought that one would probably close at around 150, 151 or so. It's exactly where it ended up closing, and the game flew over. Game landed in the low 160s. Eastern Kentucky got killed, but that doesn't matter because of the pace and just the fact that defensively not a very good team. That allowed Southeast Missouri State to just go off on offensively, and we picked up a nice easy winner. So hopefully our winning streak will carry over into Sunday. And the play that is going to be on a matchup in the A-10 is going to be between Davidson and St. Bonaventure. They'll be taking place at roughly 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play of the day, we're going to be taking St. Bonaventure at home, minus 4.5, minus 110 on Bet MGM. Time recording of 11.07 p.m. Eastern time. Couple reasons why I like St. Bonaventure in this spot. First of all, there has been a lot of line movement on St. Bonaventure already. The line opened up at around four, and now it's mostly available at five market wide. However, BetMGM still has minus 110. Uh, for the minus four and a half. So I'll take the free half point with no extra juice there. A couple reasons why I think there has been some money on St. Bonaventure. First of all, uh, the Bonnies have been fantastic at home so far this season. St. Bonaventure is undefeated at home. And Davidson has been pretty good on the road, but I will go into some of the results and how they might not be as impressive as they may seem just looking at the record. But looking at the efficiency numbers, St. Bonaventure has been a very, very solid defensive team all season long. St. Bonav Bonaventure currently ranks 54th in the entire country in defensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm, where Davidson ranks 131st. Now, looking at some other factors here, St. Bonaventure currently ranks 82nd in rebounding rate. So it's a very solid rebounding team. Now, if you actually look at Davidson here, Davidson actually ranks 10th in rebounding rate. So I'm sure a lot of you might be wondering, well, if that's the case, why are you bringing up rebounding? And the reason why is because of the fact that Davidson, despite being a very solid rebounding team, will probably be without at least one, if not both, of its two leading rebounders. And I do think Davidson will struggle a lot on the boards as a result. Going through the actual stats here, you have Luka Brajkovic, who's averaging a team-high 6.5 rebounds per game. And you also have Sam Menenja, who's averaging 5.2 re rebounds per game. Both of them are questionable, but leaning towards doubtful in this game. And I simply think that St. Bonaventure is still a top 85 rebounding team. I think Davidson should struggle without his two leading rebounders. I do think St. Bonaventure has a decent chance to win the rebounding battle overall and potentially by a decent amount at home in this game. If you want to look at some trends as well, uh, St. Bonaventure is very solid uh, based on the current trend of the fact that the favorite is 6-1 and one ATS in the last seven meetings. So the favorite has done pretty well here, and I do think that based on the line movement alone, the sun should probably continue climbing, as it will probably close at around 5.5 or 6. But looking at some other factors here, Davidson is actually in pretty solid form as it has won five straight. However, the strength of schedule has been very, very weak, so I do think that that winning streak is a little bit misleading. If you want to actually go through who this team has played, to recap the last game, they beat a non-Division one team by 50 the non-Division one team doesn't really mean anything. Beat UMass on the road by nine. Now, UMass is 6-2 and two in conference play, but it is 7-4 and four overall, so it's not a great overall team. So an impressive win. I'll give them a little bit of credit for that. But the other three wins are really, really weak. Beat Fordham at home by 15. Beat LaSalle on the road by 24. And beat St. Joe's at home by 14. All three of those teams are the bottom three teams in the entire Atlantic 10. So they were just beating up on some bottom feeders in conference play. And St. Bonaventure is anything but a bottom feeder at 10-3 and three overall and 8-3 and three in conference play. But at the end of the day, I think St. Bonaventure should come out with a lot of energy. And I do think Davidson will struggle a little bit, potentially being shorthanded, whether it involves foul trouble or simply just getting out-rebounded by a very solid and very physical St. Bonaventure team. So the play that I once again here for Saturday, here for Sunday, February 21st, is going to be on St. Bonaventure minus 4.5 and, and minus 110 on Bet MGM. That's been Thomas Scott Selections. So you look to all of you and your respective to best today. Bye, everyone.